Backbone models store attributes differently from JavaScript objects. With JavaScript objects, you get or set attributes by simply referencing them. Let me show you this in code. But backbone models store attributes in a hash, and as a result, you cannot get or set attributes this way. Instead, we should use the set method. Let me create a backbone model first. Now we can use the set method to set an attribute. We can also pass a JSON object to set multiple attributes at once. Alternatively, we can set attributes when initializing a model object. Okay, now let's inspect our song object. Note the attributes property here. It's a hash of all the attributes set in this object. Earlier I told you that backbone models store attributes differently. That's what I was talking about. If you need to have a JSON representation of your backbone model, you can convert it to JSON by calling the toJSON method. Here is a JSON representation of our backbone model. If you have a JSON object and would like to convert it to a backbone model, you can pass it when instantiating your backbone model. It's similar to setting values when instantiating the model. Here is an example. Okay, now let's inspect the new song. Note that the title attribute is stored in the attributes hash. Now let's look at some other stuff we can do with a backbone model. We can get an attribute by calling the get method. We can remove an attribute by calling the unset method. We can remove all attributes of a model by calling the clear method. Let's inspect the song object again. Note that all attributes are removed. We can also ask a backbone model if it has a given attribute. To do this, we use the has function. And here is the last one. Sometimes we may want to set some default values on our model. To do this, we set the default property when creating the model type. With this code, if we instantiate a song object but don't specify the genre, by default its value will be set to jazz. Okay, let's inspect this object in Chrome Developer Tools. Note that the genre is set to jazz by default. So, we use the set method to set an attribute. We use the get method to read it. We can ask a model if it has a given attribute by calling the has method. We can call the unset method to remove an attribute. And finally, we can call the clear method to remove all attributes of a model. When defining our model, we can specify the default values for the attributes. If the attributes are not initialized when instantiating the model, the default values will be set. In the next lecture, we'll talk about how to add validation to our models.